are the one that I adore. Grab some popcorn and get comfortable, because these movies are kicking in that closet door. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best lesbian theme movies. For this list, we'll be taking a look at movies that proudly feature characters who identify as lesbian, or in some case bisexual women who end up with women. Who's a woman? As are you a woman? That's right. We'll only be looking at movies that star canonically queer female characters. So as much as we'd love to showcase fried green tomatoes, the movie deviated from the book and left the relationship between Iggy and Ruth ambiguous. <laughs> Hello, I'm gonna marry the man I'm supposed to. You getting married? As soon as the sun was over. <gasps> Number 10, Pariah. Say it again! Say it again! I'm a lesbian with <laughs> When you're a teenager, you're in that complex stage of life where you're constantly being told what you should be, while simultaneously trying to figure it all out. Now go get changed. Dad, what's wrong with this outfit? Nothing. See, I'm not gonna argue with you. Do what she says. Dad. Ungawa. And put on a skirt. That's the case for 17-year-old Alike, a young girl who finally has that wonderful aha moment about her sexuality, only to have to go home to a disapproving mother and a father who means well but still denies it with that most hated phrase, it's just a phase. You already know. No, I don't know. You tell your mom it's just a phase. It's not a phase. See, you should have done something! The movie shows a heartbreakingly real depiction of young queer women of color, yet Alike still manages to keep her head held high. For even breaking is opening, and I am broken. I am open. Number nine, Debs. Is that what you're doing with me? Sabotaging your spy career? I'm here because I feel more like me when I'm with you. Parodying the likes of Charlie's Angels, this secret academy specializes in discipline, energy, beauty, strength, and charming lesbian villains. You're Lucy Diamond. You're a Deb. You have the right to remain silent. You're giving me my rights. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Oh, was that not stated in the rules? Because Lucy Diamond is kinda cute and definitely charming the way she robs banks to steal moments with Deb's honor student, Amy. So I guess I'll see you around same bat time or whatever. Around the playful tone of the movie is a surprisingly in-depth coming out story, where Amy has to decide between running off with Lucy and accepting herself, or following the status quo with the Debs. The time I spent with Lucy Diamond were the happiest days of my life. And the only brave thing I've done this whole time is what I'm doing now. Number 8, Bound. Isn't it obvious? I'm trying to seduce you. Why? Of all the apartment buildings in all the cities in all the world, the girlfriend of a money launderer for the Mafia just had to live right next door. We assume that's what ex-con Corky had to be thinking when she met Violet. Their affair leads to a rather stylish movie that just so happens to be directed by a sibling team you may have heard of, the Wachowskis. The only difference is I can f*** someone I've just met. But to steal, I need to know someone like I know myself. Making their directorial debut, Larry and Andy, now proudly known as Lana and Lily, made an engaging film that did something many lesbian films didn't do at the time. It didn't focus on coming out. What did she do to you? Everything you could. Number seven, Saving Face. You talked to your mother about us? Yeah. So? So, does she know we have sex? <sighs> No, well, she thinks we conjugate Latin verbs. There's the fear of coming out in general, but those fears are amplified for Will, a young Chinese-American surgeon whose family is a bit on the we'll disown you side of things. It doesn't help that her mother brings shame to the family for having a child out of wedlock, so that closet door is going to stay closed shut. What? At least that's the plan until Will meets Vivian. This is one of those movies where we understand both sides to the predicament. Vivian doesn't want to hide their relationship, and Will is afraid of her family's judgment. As a result, it's a film anyone can relate to. Kiss me. Right here in front of all these people. Number 6, Stranger Inside. I never said we were exclusive. Maybe she found something a little sweeter. And you know what they say. Dark and a berry. 
What does an out and proud black lesbian do after she directs the first feature-length film to focus on black lesbians? We're lesbians, remember Cheryl? We're into female-to-female -female attraction. Anyway, you're the one who's supposed to be clocking all the girls. If you're Cheryl Dunye, you keep on slaying. Our number six pick centers on Treasure Lee, a young woman who wants to meet her biological mother. The twist? Her mother is in prison, and Treasure purposely causes trouble just to get close to her. What's your name, girl? Treasure. Treasure Lee. All right, Treasure Lee. Next time you play for us. Much like Bound, there's no coming out process or doubts about sexuality. But the movie still has common LGBT themes, such as wanting to gain acceptance from your loved ones, and tells that story in a unique, unconventional way. To find you now, mm. that's like a miracle. Number five, imagine me and you. The lily means, the lily means I dare you to love me. We all hope for our weddings to go off without a hitch, but what happens when a hitch comes in the form of the cute girl who did the flower arrangements at your ceremony? That's what happens to bride-to-be Rachel, but it's not enough to stop Rachel from marrying Hector. From there begins an awkwardly adorable romance that Hector unintentionally helps to blossom when he encourages his wife to befriend Luce. You busy Tuesday night? Do you have to escort in my wife somewhere? It's just like, I've got this wanky work thing which I can't get out of. And if you look after Rach for me, go on, say yes, go on. Then, yes. It's not just the comedic feel-good love story that we adore about this movie. It's the fact that Hector isn't a bad guy at all. He's just not the one for Rachel. More than anything else, I wanted to be the cause of happiness in you. But if I'm not, then... I can't stand in the way. Number four, the kids are all right. I love you, chicken. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes your child wanting to find his sperm donor father. That goes about as well as you'd expect. I get it, okay? He's their biological father and all that crap. It still feels really shitty. Like we're not enough or something, ah. you know? This star power cast retells the age-old romantic dilemma where partner A doesn't appreciate partner B, and partner B ends up in the arms of another. However, partner A and B are both women and that other is the biological father of their children. Are you straight now? No, it has nothing to do with that. I've just felt so far away from you lately. This creates a multitude of problems that ironically strengthen the bond of the family, because at the end of the day, the most important thing is that the kids are all right. Um, instead, of, instead of talking to each other, you go off the rails and act grubby, and make stupid choices, which is what I did, and, and I feel sick about it because I love you guys and I love your mom. Number three, but I'm a cheerleader. We're afraid you're being influenced by a way of thinking, uh, and unnatural. Do you remember the woman on TV? Who... Honey, we think you're a lesbian. We imagine this is an accurate representation of what it looks like when lesbians are made to kiss boys. Wait, sweet, wholesome Megan couldn't possibly like girls, could she? I'm not perverted. I get good grades. I go to church. I'm a cheerleader. Sure, she likes Melissa Etheridge and cute cheerleaders, but oh, damn it, she is a lesbian. I'm a homosexual. First step is admitting all of the homo. At least that's the gospel of True Directions, a therapy camp that uses a five-step program to force, sorry, pray the gay way, or something. He wants to be with you the way God intended be inside you. However, the camp has the exact opposite effect. Huh, it's as if sexuality should be something that's accepted instead of condemned. There's not just one way to be a lesbian. You just have to continue to be who you are. Number two, Carol. I always spend New Year's alone in crowds. I'm not alone this year. As soon as you see the time period of this movie, your heart sinks. It's 1952 when Therese meets a glamorous woman named Carol. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I like the hat. As the film progresses, we learn that Carol is in the middle of a terrible divorce from her husband, who's threatening to expose her homosexuality due to a morality clause to gain full custody of their daughter. Also, they're suggesting similar associations with well, they're alleging evidence of a pattern of behavior. Evidence of a pattern? The fact that Carol has to decide between her own child and her sexuality is heartbreaking. 
While we've made great strides since the 50s, this movie still hits home for queer parents who may face such severe discrimination that they choose to keep their sexuality hidden. And I will not deny it or say that I... But I do regret and I grieve for the mess we are about to make of our child's life. Before we get to our number one pick, let's celebrate these honorable mentions. Or maybe you would, you can't know. Trust me, I know. You know. Yeah, I know. You know how you'll react to everything. Pretty much, yes. She said she's got people from time to time, younger women who are like, you know, rich, rich. Mm -hmm. And they're looking for a more mature situation. Right, like a married with kids mature situation? Yes. <laughs> Number one, blue is the warmest color. Lui, il a tout pour lui, c'est pas le problème, c'est moi, il me manque un truc. Il... Je sais pas, je suis tordu, je te jure, je suis perché. Mais non, ça vient de quelque part. Enfin, tu... There was something about that cool blue hair that drew Adele to Emma. Like many of the entries on this list, the attraction was instant. And while Adele tried to deny it, she eventually admitted her true feelings. However, unlike our other picks, this is a movie that doesn't stop at high school or start at adulthood. Adele and Emma's relationship is a progression that begins in those early self-discovery moments, and eventually helps us realize that even as an adult, there's still a lot to learn about who you are. It's a fresh and honest reminder that coming out and living life is indeed a process. Do you agree with our list? Come on, what do you have to lose? Everything. Which lesbian movie makes you feel good to be who you are? For more inclusive top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. Here's what I don't do to you. I don't work out my issues by other people.